Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule of Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 26, or thereabouts. Alright, continuing on. I'm still hoping that our submarines are going to pull us out of this, thanks to at least Germany starting to back off a little bit. We are hoping. Um, money situation looking okay. I, I do think I, we should probably be building something at this point, because... We don't really have any long-term ships that are going to be developed, unless we're... Well, I, I mean, I, this is some kind of production already. If we were to throw some destroyers on, that would put us in the... I, I just want ships to be being built to be finished, like, every... Mm, at least one every year. At least a group or, you know, some kind of purchase spree every year. And I'm seeing that... Uh, the next ships, if we build um, big ones, which is certainly we do want to build some big ones, um, those won't be ready for a long time. 30 months, so we'd have like over two years of shortages. So I don't think we should build any more Chen Chamarus. Those are already decent enough. I'm just kind of sitting here and wondering, what the heck do we get? So we, we finished this design study, right? Um, but did I like just not build any? <laughs> didn't didn't we were we, were we designing a big battleship, which I cannot remember the name of it at this point. Oh yeah, there it is. So what happened with this thing? Did we just not build it? Am I crazy? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so we can build this. The funny thing is, I don't know why I didn't start building at least one of them to like lock the it in. I could always, since we didn't build it, I almost feel like the best thing to do is actually to rebuild it. So we open it now and there's 190 weight remaining that we can do whatever we want with. Has anything major come up? I mean, mainly I think the, the ped impediment with building this is simply that we don't have the money. <laughs> money is the biggest problem not at this point anything related to torpedo defense which was a painful wait uh, now it's like we actually don't have the money for this and I guess with the hundred remaining is this what I was doing uh, that dropped it down 170 and that is pretty severe so I can see why 40,100 is better for whatever reason um, yeah I thought I, I already double checked everything and I liked everything about this we can always get... Wow, that's actually a lot of ammunition already, but... Pff, oh, that... That does... But we Actually, we want um, some extra space available, though. So what do we do with her? I didn't even know we had... Sir, I don't think we do. I don't think we do have this. Let's test it out. Yeah. That's what I thought. Wait. Yeah. Clear mounts. Okay, well, look, I'm going to sit on it for another month or so. I, I don't really know what I want to do. And, of course, we're going to get battles and battles and battles. And, hey, the Russian Navy declines battle. Well, that should mean that Way Highway... No, not Way Highway. Um, Port Arthur is ours. So we have a small engagement. Um, in the Samoa. So this is South Pacific. I don't think I have anything there. Six destroyers. I'm just going to decline that one. Only the Navy can win this war, of course. Superimposed X mount on CL. That's very good. All we need now is superimposed B mounts. Our new torpedo bomber is ready for service. Okay. Um, a new fighter. Well, let's see. Oh, is this? No, it's not an improved model. Better range, um, one point better toughness, slower max speed, which is pretty significant in combat, I imagine. I mean, this is 20% increase in toughness, 5%, 4% increase in max speed. But it does have an increase in range. Now, I've never really thought range is too important, but the poor reliability is actually the thing I'm going to look at the most. So the fighting still continues here. Ah, 
So they didn't sink, thank God, the Gachimuchi. And we sank 120, or sorry, 144 enemy merchants. They had four submarines, they had uh, 25 submarines operating, they lost two. <laughs> we had almost five times the number operating and only double the number of losses. Raiders in Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia. Interesting, so we might have to try to mix up our trade protection here. We can actually set these Sakura Jimas to trade protection, and that's a role that they are very well equipped for, considering that they are fast battleships. I think they qualify for battlecruiser engagements. Um, Point-wise, how are we doing there? I don't think we need the point superiority. We, yeah, we already have very good point superiority. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's um, set one, the Antake, I guess, to trade protection. And that should help, I hope. Battle and support of land combat, absolutely. They decline, that should be a victory for us. Are we getting that, that port yet? Okay, convoy attack. I guess we'll accept this as well. Attack ships near the objective. Same old, same old place. <laughs> it's been like a lot of battles in this area, which is pretty cool. It feels about right, fighting over the Sockland Islands. Oh, brother, that's another destroyer affair. Well, had I known, we would not be so interested in this. Looks like it's going to be another short, or not short, but a small fish affair. Small ship affair. So he's heading back. Let's just get everyone up to 20. And hopefully he'll just lead me right to the prey. I accidentally have a nice formation here. Okay, ship number two. I think that's just part of the division. Um, okay, ship number three. Is that a light cruiser? Still unknown. We're citing these from way off, but those look like the transports, and they are. More transports. I don't think the Russians have enough ships here. I think this is actually all the ships that they have. Uh, the destroyers, I mean. So of course we'd love to take out the few remaining that they do have. That would enable total supremacy in Northeast Asia. And they do have a destroyer on the front. Okay, so let's get up to something resembling combat speed. And we will split our force. I'm going to have the Northern Division drive harder into the towards the enemy lines. I don't think that these are correct. Yeah, that... Okay. What is going on here? Oh! Oh, it actually is an armed merchant. Surprise, surprise. Well, nothing a few torpedoes can't handle. Get them into torpedo arrangement. And prepare to fire. Now, I would love if I could to set the torpedo firing to slow. What? Friendly ship in line of fire? I didn't upgrade. I didn't upgrade, but there's definitely some problem here. There's no friendly ships in the line of fire, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> you know, it's obviously a bug. I don't know. I don't understand it. It's just obviously a bug. Okay, we are expending torpedoes. Um, what about this Gremyashi? So 297. That means if we can do something... I don't want to do 297. I want to do something... Less than 297. 270? Hmm. We don't have our, uh, the solution I'm looking for, so just not gonna. We're not gonna launch. I think those are all high speed. Okay, just as long as we don't lose a ship here, I think we'll be okay.
And we are hitting that AMC, who does not have armor. This one's on fire. Nope, never mind. Maybe she was. I don't know if I saw it incorrectly. Launching torpedoes. Oh my god, how is that? This is what, what confuses me most, is that they're, I've been saying this, that the AI's algorithm is completely wrong. I've been saying it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. And then, um, you know, they just, all they did in the recent fix is reduce the, just basically essentially allow you in captain's mode to launch more often, but they just need to fix the torpedo launching algorithm. It just needs to be fixed. And that probably just needs... I, I can't imagine it's that difficult to test. Okay, we actually hit the destroyer with a torpedo. Holy cow. Thought we might get doubly lucky. So this is a mission accomplished, mission success so far already. I'm just going to make us one long line because I'm... A little bit leery about having some issues. Hitting lots of things with torpedoes. Okay, we'll peel in here. Let's go towards the other ones. Yeah, we are we are definitely hitting the destroyers as well. So that's that also is important. I don't really want to be a, a target for these guys though. Yeah, let's cruise on up to the other ones. I think we probably have managed to destroy more than one destroyer as well. Yeah, that guy's a goner. He's just been picked at. And these are smaller destroyers as well. So we can start whaling on this group and then move back. I don't even know who's left, but there's probably somebody. That was a quick trip up north. wonder when our aircraft are starting to get involved. This is the one destroyer I'm a little bit surprised is just not at all does not at all appear to be phased. So we definitely have some merchant ships sinking. And now we're chasing down that destroyer. This should be the end of it. Yeah, we have a few. Okay, Zarki. Oh yeah, we're attacking long range. Our gunnery must be getting good with all these successes. Okay, we'll just do something like this. Okay, we got that Zarki again. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. So there's almost no merchant ships left. <laughs> That's good news. Let's see if we can land a few more hits on this guy. Okay, we already accomplished our objective. We got a lot of hits in that last turn. All right, I think we're gonna group up and peel off. We're gonna kind of, you know, unfortunately for this guy, for the destroyer in the north, Gonna kind of pick on him just to give us a, an escape path, since this is a, a nice escape path. And yeah, I mean, if we didn't sink every single ship, that's fine. It's still fine. We've done some good strategic damage. There we go. A hit. She's dead in the water. I think she's gone. Okay, good. So we'll slow down to 20 knots and make our way towards port. Well, I guess we'll head like south to Japanese friendly coast first because I'm seeing something here. It's probably a transport. Yeah, one DDU is either a Corvette or it could just be a merchant ship. And I think the rest of the dis Russian destroyers after after having seen <laughs> the short work we made at the other ones, have decided also to disengage. So this is a, a, a very... I mean, look at the Japanese destroyers at this point are well-oiled war machines. They're, they're just, you know, they have a lot, so much experience. It's another wave of recon, I guess. 
kind of cool to see that go out there. And it looks like we're going to get a chance to go to port. Okay. All right, so two destroyers and then nine. So this is a, actually, it's not that big of a victory. Why not? Oh, actually, so we sank nine, but they had seven surviving, which gave them quite a bonus. Okay, that's still fine. I mean, victory was ours, and they have two less strategic points. So I will call that a victory all around. Okay, 134, 105, I think superimposed on, okay, so we have some real heavy cruiser capability now. Improved flying boat, yep. Okay, they improved their previous version. This one has much better range. My goodness, that's much better. Reliability is still poor. Okay, we're doing well. Yeah, just waiting for the collapse. 51, 51, yeah. Okay, should we go down to prize rules? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So there is an argument to be made. I mean, what is Germany at? Nine. I think that they could put, they could actually go to war with us from nine after a neutral sinking. And the thing is we're doing really well and we're now investing time into invading Sockland. My biggest concern actually is, I'm gonna go to prize rules because my biggest concern is that we, we don't finish, the, we finish the war before we've taken the Laotong Peninsula. That would be my biggest concern. You gotta imagine how difficult it would be to resupply this area. They couldn't do it by sea, it just could not. I mean, just impossible. Not with this kind of force. Essentially, we should be blockading them here. And then, what? you know, also putting a lot of pressure. I mean, we just have the better ship. We have just better ships in this area. Which, I mean, they have six battle cruisers. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, cruiser action. That was a French battle, huh? Um, fleet battle against the Russians. And they are going to accept. Hmm. Oh dear. It's a nighttime engagement with our carrier, of course. Who wouldn't leave their carriers out? Yeah, I've seen this happen several times where the enemy is um, like inside your lines. Well, the good news is we have so many escorts. <laughs> Sport line ahead, perfect. Squad max. Line ahead, support, squad max. I'll go squad, squad max like minus three. Just so they, they stay kind of bunched up. Um, support. Line ahead. Uh, squad max minus four, let's do. And oh, gee, you cannot launch. You will be useless for this battle. You shall head south by southeast. And my escorts who have failed in their their task. What's funny is the funny thing is they failed during daytime. <laughs> it's only nighttime that we see these guys, but their job was, you know some 20 minutes ago or 30 minutes ago or 40 minutes ago when it was still completely daylight this is just the very first beginning of twilight so they should have been able to see them is the point okay well squall squad, squad max full reverse let's get you guys back to target Ah, good, we have some destroyers here. Um, okay. Squad max you guys as well. All right, let's see what we have. Battle cruisers. Get you guys up to squad max since, well, it's gonna be happening, isn't it? And what do we have here? Well, we do have our, ooh, the Suko, which is not the best ship, and the Sakurajima. 
They've given me garbage. The only thing we, I mean, thank God is, you know, becoming Nightfall because they gave me my battleships and this is like the worst of my line. All right, squad max everything here. And we'll, we will probably be pulling away from this fight. Ah, as will they. Oh, interesting. This is interesting. Let's go for the ones over here. Oichi, send you back this way. Squad Max, I hope you're not doing anything. You shouldn't be launching anything. Okay, you guys go this way. It's probably the main fleet. We actually hit with the Kazan and the Mikasa. <laughs> Who... Who knew? Do these have the improved? No, they don't. They just have quality one 12 inch guns. Impressive. Well, this is an interesting situation. Man, we are getting some good hits in here early. And hopefully they keep going back towards the... Oh, man. Oh, that's an issue. Hmm. Okay. We do have a one plan about this. We can try to go line ahead, towards, and then prepare to launch torpedoes. Okay, here we go. And look at that, the battleships, the old battleships. This is like a, I can just, I'm, the role play, it's just writing itself right now. Having these old ships, but the, you know, the, the proud crew still think that they can hold their own. And they're right, <laughs> they're actually doing okay. Six inch guns, okay, that's true. How many hits have actually been large caliber none none okay that's different that's different okay so they, they we haven't done much then still no main hits don't fire until you can see the whites of their eyes all right we got 35,000 ton wow the arapella our, our Pelag class, 36,000 tons, let's call it, fast. Two Kinburns, which are not, as I remember, not very good ships, but, and then they have over here the Rimnik, 32,000 tons, or rounding. I mean, considering they're going up against 16,000 ton battleships, <laughs> uh. Okay, we're we're actually in the cross deck fire. I forgot the Otago has cross deck fire, so we'll we want to make sure that we have that cross deck fire available. I think I will go squad max for them. Okay, so all eyes on how our destroyers here perform. It's amazing to me that they haven't like done anything yet. They haven't reacted to like my very, very, very close presence. Do we already have a shot? No. Okay, well let's do this. And we'll turn this way and hopefully have some shots. Rimnik is getting hit. Really good start. This is with the 12 inch guns now. Those are certainly going to do damage. This thing doesn't have much armor to begin with. Very interesting. Very interesting start to this battle. Okay. 
Okay, you guys are near due south now. Alright, and here we go. Alright, launch torpedoes. Fire, fire, fire. Friendly ship in line of fire, you just, you gotta be kidding me. Um, nope, we don't want to fire at that. Kitakazi is launching torpedoes, well, seems like she's already doing her job, but let's see if we can help her out anymore. Wow, she launched every single one of her torpedoes. Well, a good thing too, because apparently I can't. See, that just shows you right there that the algorithm which says you can't launch torpedoes is not the same as the one the AI uses. I think that this is not a bad firing solution. Let me pick the other Kinburn instead and see what we have. 70, 67, I think I like that even better. Let's fire this. Fifty-two. What about the BC unnamed? Forty. No, that's not good. I want to lead them a little bit more. Fifty. Okay, we'll do fifty. That way, if they continue to turn hard, and I think they will, um, we'll have a chance to hit them. Oh yeah, that's that's a good volley. So it looks like I mean, this is just crazy. We just okay. I wasn't. I don't know if I told you if I was like upset about this battle in close of quarters or not. But let me tell you that I am not. <laughs> Make it very convincing, very emphatic that I am not. I still want to try to hit that Kimbrin, So let's let's go for this. And then, considering only the Takashi has torpedoes left, I'm not going to risk the entire line after they've done such a good job, so we're just going to pull back off. And then watch the, the fireworks. In the meantime, the Rimnik is still getting pelted. She's actually... It looks like they're actually pulling off. Now, the most deadly uh, vessel they have... Nope. Nope. I think it's this one, which is about to get... I mean, just about to get... She's about to be dead. I mean, there's just no, there's no other way of describing it. She's about to take so many torpedoes. There's no, there's just no possible way. Even if she only takes two torpedoes, she will be a goner. So we will finish her off. So my, my weakened battle line here, missing like the most important ships that I have. We don't have a single one of my main battleships here, even though they're in the sea zone. So just. You know, the game's trying to say, screw you. <laughs> but luckily, they gave us this opportunity with the destroyers. So let's go down to slow, because this is going to be a fun one to watch. And let's watch. Oh my god, how many was that? Well, it was only two. We still have some hope to hit the Fokshani. Okay, Fokshani hit by one. And the uh, Arpelag hit by another one. Still have some hope here. As we steam away, let's deploy smoke heroically. And actually, we can return to line ahead and take off turn together because we, we actually can go after the other ones. Um, okay, so let me make sure I've been paying attention to what happened. Previous turn, the Alexander was hit, the Remnick was hit with two 12 inch guns from our battleships, and then we hit with torpedoes. Okay. All right, let's see what happens next. So I, I should have led by a little bit more, actually. Ooh, got him. Another torpedo for the Fokshani, so that's... Who's counting? Three for the Arapelag and two for the Fokshani. But that should be curtains for both of them, considering as long as we can pursue them... We certainly are going to try. We have destroyers. I mean, sorry, not destroyers, but um, we have light cruisers in position to tail them. That's all we have. We only have a heavy cruiser over here. I'm going to call it a heavy cruiser, but it's really just a light cruiser. We also have destroyers. I guess that's more important. Yeah, but they're slowing down already. And we're starting to hit the Imperial Alexander. What a battle. It's like, I feel like I turned the difficulty switch to super easy. Like help the levels where they're helping the beginner to get kills but I honestly I like if I had to evaluate this I'm gonna guess it's due to crew quality 
So we've been in a lot of battles. This is only crew quality of zero, so I, that, that, that cannot explain it. One and one is, well, well zero. Well, Sakurajima hasn't been landing very many hits. Nikubo two, ah, zero. These were the guys on Mothball for a long time. Uh, and probably all my destroyers are crew quality one. Yeah, it looks that way. Oh, wow, the Arapella is slowing up very quickly. And Fakshani also looks like she's probably a goner, even just on those two torpedoes. Now, we're not we're going to make sure of it. In fact, this destroyer group is only... The only mission it has is to go chase after this. And look at that, we're even hitting their, their escorting corvettes in the meantime. So if they continue to turn north, little do they know. They're going to run face into another wave of torpedoes. These are my underwater torpedoes that we are actually already launching. We do have the three reloadable mounts, so it's quite possible for us to just... Wow, we can actually fire it high. I don't think high is quite the right idea here. I also don't think that's a good idea. This one would be nice. Let's fire that torpedo. And I think I ought to deploy smoke as well because we do want to we want to muddy the vision of the field as fast as possible. Hopefully it comes down to torpedoes and not gunnery. Even though the gunnery has favored us by far, I don't think that we can rely on that. So. Okay, and she's launching all her torpedoes. Yeah, I think that she might even be dead. She's not dead yet and she is shooting. But what could she be shooting at? We're not in range yet. Yeah, she's shooting at the destroyers, which makes sense. But also, that's not something which bothers me. I might have to let these two go. I mean, this is the entire Russian fleet, though. So if we can sink it, it's really curtains for Northeast Asia for them. All right, let's line up some shots here. Let's get our destroyers. Same thing. Line of brass, turn together, and in we go. Oh, they started launch torpedoes, so hopefully they hold off on that for just a little bit. Actually, we can start getting our other broadside going. Kinburn and the Kinburn, just some 4-inch gun hits. Kinburns were unscathed by torpedoes so far, but boy, they're running right into the thick of it. Now, it looks like the uh, Russians are not going to take this one lying down. I don't know what they're doing though. <laughs> really don't know what they're doing. Okay. Looks like they're not gonna do anything. They're just gonna take the torpedoes. Alright, well fire at will. Is that a destroyed turret? No. Hey okay, Konakazi. And the Bonzon looks like she will be impeded by friendly ships in the line of fire. I wouldn't be... Yeah, I'm not... That, that won't make sense to me. Now, Toriokazi, I'm actually going to bring you back in, which is a little bit weird, but you're going to go for the Fakshani down there since you're already off the line here. Oh my god, it's going to be bad. It's going to be very bad. <laughs> it's not going to be good. <laughs> okay, Kinbird is taking a few hits, quite a few. The Yugo is also taking some hits. She looks like she's detached. No. Nope. She has not. Well, she should. Look at fire your remaining torpedoes. No, you don't have any. Okay, that's well, it's good. Bonzen. So let's go to line ahead, turn together. I'll do that. Okay, the Konakazi, if she has any torpedoes left, should. Wait, did the Kinburn not take any hits? Are you are you out of your mind? But yet, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. If they were running deep, they weren't running deep later, so that doesn't make any sense. Lots of mysteries. 
Lots of mysteries in that one. Okay, let's get this group. We'll forget about the Remnick. We'll forget about that that group. Let's go for everyone else. Yeah, she's in a bad way. Let's get her to deploy smoke. You guys can come in. Um, go. You personally should stay out, but the bond's on. Does she have a shot yet? Yes. Yes, she does. I don't know if those are going to connect. Just give her a little bit of juice just to get her out of the range of... Um, I mean, uh, to turn her so we can launch more torpedoes if we want. <laughs> yeah, you guys are probably done. Four torpedoes in the Takashi. Well, I mean, hey, they are coming right at me. I mean, well, let's just launch right now. I don't know idea what they're doing, but we'll give them something to think about before darkness falls. Get you guys to go this way. Battleships, honestly, just going to pull them off. Same kind of the idea with our... Yeah, all these guys are going to pull off. Darkness, not the best time for us. Well, not the best time for um, the bigger ships, but actually the smaller ships should perform quite well. And already have. Okay, so our light cruisers are going to come in. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, man, this Kinburn is the chosen one. Very, very, very lucky. We will launch our torpedoes at that one, which is, as far as I know... Wait. Yeah, one of them is sinking. Yeah, that's a good spread. And just in time. Perfect. Okay. So, fair enough. We probably could just let our torpedoes do a little bit more work before dashing in bravely. But I think this line is full of... Oh, it's actually full of Gaucho and Kushino. It's kind of interesting. I was going to send them in because I was like, well, they're older ones anyways. But they they did the weird thing where they matched um, cruisers with six knots different speeds together, which is preposterous in my opinion. But... It's just what they did. You guys come home. Unsighted hit by torpedoes. I don't even know who's getting hit by torpedoes. Okay. Here we go. Squad max. It's hopefully a destroyer? I think it is. Oh. Oh my. Well, that must be coming right at us, too. Let's wait one more turn. Oh, what the heck? It's not? How did it get that? It would have been having to, to go south. It already completed a full turn? Okay, don't launch torpedoes at it. It's going to be going away. So just let it drift out of sight. That's fine. We'll let that one go. We won't be letting, oh my gosh, these go. All right, it's basically whoever fires first when you're this close. <laughs> so we just need to wait for the identification. Okay, well, there we go, we got it. <laughs> 200 yards away, literally not enough time to even honestly launch prep torpedoes, whatever. So who's in charge? Get torpedo launching just to really make sure that happens here. Um, okay, so Kushino? I think I'm going to fire those torpedoes anyway, because I'm not sure if we want to do this or not. Oh no! Where's that one? Oh, that's the enemy. <laughs> okay, I was like, no. Okay, that means the Ashikaze has, like, we only hit her with one. That's pretty impressive. So let's launch uh, as big of a spread as you can, please, at this Fox Shawnee. What the heck? 
This is the same Fox Shawnee that already took two torpedoes, right? Ken Burn took two. Fox Shawnee took two. Okay, so she's still putzing about. Fair enough. Nice to have that destroyer out of the way and to be putting more torpedoes into the Fox Shawnee. I suspect that this will be the, the Coupe de Gras. The Coup de Gras, I should say. Only one. And actually, we have to <laughs> did ourselves a disservice in the end. Okay, there's another hit. Oof. It's close. But that should be enough. That's two extras. I just landed two more, right? That's four total torpedoes. I don't think that it's possible to survive four total, total torpedoes. Ashikaze, how are you doing? No flooding. Okay, so let's um, deploy smoke if we haven't already. Squad max, which is the yikes. Not going to do that then. Probably just got to pull the Ashikaze off. And keep going. Or, I don't know. There should be another one down there somewhere, too. Um, yeah, where's the other battle cruiser? Oh, Ashikaze, please, don't, don't do it. Like, okay, I guess just launch torpedoes at it so that we're sure it's dead. But I mostly just want you to survive. <laughs> okay, that's brutal. And we have friends coming in as well. From all angles, really. She's still blasting it with her guns as well. If they hit us with even one gun, I think we're dead, but I think the Ashikaze is not going to die from her. That one ship's already sinking. Okay, this is another ship which is sinking. That's another ship which is sinking. Oh god, Ashikaze. Oh my god. You have no torpedoes left. No. Alright. I also don't want to launch torpedoes. Good, we aren't. Let's get alongside. Oh, wow. Oh my god, Ashikazi, why did she do it? You guys have only two torpedoes left. Okay, so you're down to 20. You can probably get everyone down here to 16. Moving for the coast. Actually, moving for port. At this point, I think it's okay. Okay, there we go. That's everyone except for some destroyers. Get these guys down as well. They'll be part of the group. Alright, now everyone else. You guys are doing well. You are sinking already. Okay. Um, torpedo complement. Really good. Let's move back down in for these guys. Oh. Oh lord. Okay, well we're probably going to pay the price here. Pay the iron price. But we will get off at least one barrage of torpedoes. It's probably worth it. She's sinking, but I think we can get one last. How the hell is that ship still sink still alive? Okay. Deploy smoke. And we'll just actually... Yeah, I think I'll just turn away like this. Ashikaze, get out of there. <laughs> um, well, this should be the last of this our Peleg. I mean, there we go. That's torpedo number five, if I'm counting correctly. So the Kinburn might escape. Um, if any of these have the ability to launch, let's just take a look at the last one. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, fire that. Just gotta make sure about it. This game has done crazier things to me <laughs> than have a ship with five torpedoes live. Okay, there it is. Six, seven. <laughs> I really, really hope that's enough. Ashikaze looks like she's 
Still on the go. So to get this group down to 16, we'll retire them as well. And last but not least, whoops, we forgot about some destroyers up here. They're really cooking. And what's their torpedo complement? Yeah, it's pretty, it's not that high. These guys are probably the ones I'm most interested in keeping around since they have a lot of torpedoes. Can't believe the Ashikaze is gonna get away, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, this is where I expected. Okay, that's the Kinburn then. We'll have the lead ship only. Wait, that's the Fakshani? Well, considering I think that she's taken a gajillion torpedo hits, I'm gonna have to start tracking here. Yeah, if that's the Fox Shawnee, she's dead. One, two extra after initial two. So I'm not going to launch torpedoes at her at all. But there might be some others up to the north. And those would be more interesting. Wait, there is not two Fox Shawnee. I don't know what that actually was. But it's dead whatever it is. Aha, uh -huh, this is more interesting. Okay, now we got, now, now we're playing with fire here. Immediately launch all torpedoes, all that we can. Okay, good. Now we'll just launch a full spread, basically get up, get the hell out. That's all we're trying to do. Pen her in, squad max. Okay, Tachikazi looks like she might be the only one left with a solution. And pull away. Yeah, she did a, a good job dodging. Could get lucky there, almost. Okay, we got some more torpedoes, let's go back in. Across the bow. All right. We knew what we were doing. This may, may not pay off, but sure looks like it's going to. Can the side get it? it might be out of rain uh, out of arch uh, yeah out of arc okay yeah that was kind of expected I don't know what this battle cruiser is doing sticking around got her with one and the side please 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 don't miss I've never had an opportunity for so many close shots as in this battle so far she took all three the Tachikazi took a near miss it's do or die, Tachikazi. I mean, if we could just blow up the ship. <laughs> oh, maybe it's the Sai. She has no torpedoes left. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to go immediately to line of breast, turn together, and we're going to pull off. Good. I think she's already sinking now, and so she's not turning, you know, doing any more fire. You are sinking, and the Tachikazi's getting out of here. Very good. Oh, she's up to nine knots, that's fantastic. That's the Rimnik. That's a new one with four torpedoes for its efforts coming back. Thank God we got out of there. That's too fast to be, I think it's gotta be a destroyer. Now, Perfectly for us, we had a second destroyer group coming in. All right, you guys can slow down 28. And you can come off of this line of breast formation. All we need is just another moment. Come on. I feel like this guy's going to get in the way of my torpedoes. But, <laughs> you know, I'm, I don't care. <laughs> Got to fire at the battle cruiser. A heroic charge, perhaps. He's trying to block the torpedoes. Wow. Good luck to him. He's almost done it. Alright, so launch any remaining torpedoes. Just in case. Just in case we get lucky and hit the light cruiser instead. In fact, they're probably about identical. <laughs> 
turn, attacking one or attacking the other. But here we go. And we'll start pulling off. Yep, we got it. <laughs> and the Rimnik took another hit somewhere in there. And other torpedoes are... And we have this group. Oh my gosh. Well, one of the most crushing defeats I think I've ever had the privilege or the horror of of commanding. This is just this is just a slaughter. Oh my gosh, this is torpedo carnage. Which will probably end up being the name of this episode. Just torpedoes everywhere. Just torpedo massacre. I don't know. It's just horrible. There's so many torpedoes going off in this battle. <laughs> so many torpedoes. So many torpedoes hitting. Okay. Well, now at this point we've it's funny, there's still a light cruiser out there. <laughs> we're not in interest we're not even interested. Only if we absolutely have to. Okay. It's not good to wade right back through the group, so let's get the Ashikazi down south. Doesn't matter if she makes it to the to the port or not. Actually it would be preferable. Probably slow her down a little bit just to make sure she's okay. And I know it's been 50 minutes, I could have cut this one up if I wanted, but I was having too much fun, and it's been several days since my last video, which I apologize for. In fact, there's, uh, it's always, there's always a, a moment I'd like to take to apologize for the slow response to the comments lately, and uh, hoping that when the weekend comes, I will have the ability to catch up on a few of those. Whew. No need to patrol further. Let's just let's just go home. What? Impossible. What is she still doing out? I'm just going to move into position to protect the Akakazi, Ashikazi. Yes to all. We aren't going to lose any ships. Not any of the one. Oh god, she retached. Okay, well, you know, we can do that as well. Nice and slow. And nice and fast. <sighs> what a fight. Well, that should really tip the edge seriously in our favor. Look at the air the search planes are going out now, too. Will they even find anything? That's the big question. Battle cruiser here, maybe. So <laughs> brutal, <laughs> just brutal. <laughs> For the loss of two destroyers, with all of our heavier ships in perfect condition. Four battle cruisers and three destroyers, and that is the end of the Pacific Fleet for Russia. History has taught them nothing. Actually, they never had the Battle of Tsushima, so now they've had the Battle of Hokkaido. And that's going to conclude this video as well, because we're way over on time, but boy, it was a, it was a fun one. The Battle of Tsugaru Straits. They have been forced to accept a peace with us gaining disputed territories. We didn't get the Lao Tung Peninsula. Well, it's 1923. It's just that invasion. Come on, man. I how many? What does it mean that we were there fighting and we should have been? We did, we won every naval battle. 
I don't know. I just don't really understand how the naval, how the land battle works. It's fine to me that it... I don't know. Basically, I just wish I understood the mechanics. If I understood the mechanics, I probably wouldn't complain so much. Okay, so I think we will take the, the goods here, and we'll be left with two points available. Kamchatka is a new sea zone, so I don't really want to take it. We just want to secure, as our, our plan was from the very beginning, just secure Northeast Asia. So we'll do it this way. We'll take those two. And France resolves to fight on. Okay. Aircraft catapults on ships, okay. Um, interesting. Okay, slower, less range. No, I don't think so. Is, uh, am I missing something? Slower, less range. Better maneuverability than this one, at least. No, yeah. No good. And now we're not sinking very many enemy merchants. That's because of prize rules, though. Maybe I'll go back to unrestricted. Maybe we can go back to war with Russia, twice in the same war. <laughs> no, but for now, I'm going to wrap this up. So thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.